What's going on, guys? Uh, been a little while since the videos uh, been out, but um, been real busy, and I am still doing videos. I've been carrying this bag for probably about a maybe three quarters of a year now, almost one year, and it's been my primary EDC bag. Uh, I don't bring it into every single place I go. I leave it in the car, but I'm usually within at least a hundred meters of this bag. Uh, I do have my pocket EDC uh, right now. It's my Blackberry. This is the Innova. Um, the twenty right right around twenty one twenty two dollar model. <clears throat> I have my wallet. And I have my Sage Titanium. Love that knife. Highly recommend it to anybody. Um, brand new Oakley gas cans. Love these glasses, guys. The polarized model. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to count my keys as an EDC, I do take them out of my pocket when I'm home, but I've got just a Swiss Army knife on there, a couple of house keys, and some other stuff. So, <clears throat> that's pretty much what I have in my pockets, but that's not what this video is about. Let's get that out of the way. Bring Lunata. Again, guys, this bag ranges for right around eighty to ninety dollars. Uh, the one, the little brother to this, is called the Remora, um, but this is the Lunata. Um, you got this. I just put this on. This is an accessory, not made by Maxpedition. Not really sure who made this. I had it laying around, uh, but that just goes to show how versatile Maxpedition pouches are with the rest of the, the market. I uh, wanted to show that. Now, Maxpedition does make a pouch very similar to this. But I had this one laying around, so why would I get a new one? The a bigger Anova floodlight. And uh, you just turn these all the way on, or you can press the button in the back. There's a lockout mode. Then I have my Victorinox Spirit. Love this, guys. It doesn't cramp my hands at all. No uh, blood blisters or anything. I've been using this, for, like I said, with this bag probably for about a year now. Front pocket. I don't think I have anything in there right now. Usually phone. Sometimes glasses or my wallet. Or my keys, but never my flashlight or my knife. These are always in my pocket. <clears throat> Front pocket, so it's versatile. There's nothing in it. I usually, stuff goes in, stuff comes out. That's how that works. The other pockets I have in here usually stay the same. Advil. Again, my fiance or I ever get a headache, I got it in here. This might be... Some might think is a little ridiculous to carry around every day. I'm a firm believer in having a fire steel. Uh, I just made a cool little lanyard to connect them. But and then I, uh, it's funny. I didn't intend for this, but it protects the bag by holding that like that. <clears throat> County Com battery holder. It's not technically supposed to be used for a battery vault, but it works out real well and the two AA batteries, and I'll start to get to why later on. County Com baton, and then a tactical pen. And I think this is a United Cutlery, but it's got a Fisher Space Pen insert. Uh, United Cutlery isn't known to have the best products, but it's just an aluminum pen body, so a little light at nighttime I can get in here. And then a Right in the Rain Outdoor Journal. These products are great, guys. I would highly recommend them. Waterproof pages. There are other videos on YouTube. Um, 
great notebook, fits in there perfectly. Coming up to the top pouch, if, I, if you guys can see there's a cinch strap here, uncinch it, pop out the flashlight and I have my Phoenix E21, very inexpensive light, I think around the $30 range, produces a lot of light. Works out real well. Two double A batteries. So I'm pretty well set. Top pocket. Let's put this back. And again, you saw that it comes out fairly easily. That's why you need to cinch it down. top pocket I think this is the uh, champion plus Swiss Army knife scissors again this can be this is probably to some of you guys a little redundant considering I have the spirit Victorinox spirit but again you know these are all used for different purposes and uh, Maybe I wouldn't want to beat up on this so hard or there was a screw that really needs some torquing and I, this is just a better all-around multi-tool for that. But a sharp, sharp blade on this guy. And um, dog bags for root beer. That's my uh, golden doodle. He's a good guy. Big dog, though. Likes to wrestle. Um... Bic lighter black. It's just all around necessities. Redundant. I have the fire steel, but you're not going to be lighting somebody else's cigarettes with a fire steel. And I don't smoke, but I keep it on me for good measure. Blackberry zip drive. Not sure where I got this. I think I got it from my fiance's father um, a while back. But it's pretty cool. That's what I keep in the top pocket. I don't outload this pack too big. Big pocket. Open it up nicely. Dre bead headphones. You guys have seen these in my other videos. Uh, I highly recommend these. They're a little bit more on the expensive side, but they're extremely, extremely nice headphones. And then I keep a nice Belkin splitter in case my fiance ever wants to listen to music with me or a friend or uh, anybody for that matter. Yep, this might be a little uh, overkill to carry with me every day, but it's the uh, Izula and Becker um, Escobar. But you know what, guys? It's small, everyday carry knife. I could throw this in my pocket if I have to. If I need a fixed blade knife, here it is. So it's better than carrying around like a SOG seal pup. Or, and then again, I have just two zip ties to just throw on my belt horizontally. Great knife, guys. Max Expeditions first aid individual pouch. You can check this at maxpedition.com. Uh, they've got great stuff. You open it up to a nice mesh pocket. Of course, the Maxpedition uh, little sewn on memorabilia patch. I just have a big Velcro patch that when I ordered it, I didn't realize it would be so big. Um, but it is pretty big. So I just kind of keep it in here with a little bag of band aids tucked behind it. the inside hanging from one of the keyholes is a CPR mask again you never know when you're gonna need it I think I got this free at a gun show uh, they were handing them out at one of the medical tables you know this thing I'm sure you guys have seen these not gonna get into it but on the uh, right side of the bag You've got a nice clear with what looks like fishing line weaved through, so I'm sure it's very durable and strong. I have a couple of large band-aids, and um, my fiancé is lactose, so 
lactate pills. Again, a nice little assortment bag of pills and different medications, Advil, Pepto-Bismol, Benadryl, uh, Aleve, Sudafed, Motrin, um, that's, you guys get the idea, Pepto. And then I have a couple of packets of this Energy C vitamin mix. This side, alcohol wipes, some more band-aids, some more big band-aids, and um, duct tape, large roll of duct tape, and then basic blood stopping um, pads. And again, I replenish this kit I carry it every day, so I don't need to carry way too much. This, if, if someone was to get a huge gash in their leg, I'd be able to do something with it be, to get them to the hospital, but I wouldn't be able to patch them up or bandage them up in a, for a long period of time. Um, I don't go to places, when I go camping, obviously, I have a totally different medical kit, but everyday situation, I'm not usually that far from a medical facility if someone gets seriously injured. I have the job, to, you know, I have the basic stuff in here to stop the blood and get them help. So, really nice. That's why Maxpedition made this pouch. That's exactly what it's for. It packs up nice and thin and tight. I could probably put an Israeli bandage in here, uh, maybe some quick clot. But again, I'm sure you guys are probably going to put in there some different things. I'd like to get the thing. Um, I saw a thing online of a, um airtight machine that you can get at Walmart or whatever and you can really tighten up your bandages and get them in there with uh, no air so <clears throat> that's pretty much what I got in here if you go in this back pocket I've got a nice flexi flask front pocket EOD robotic, robotics pry bar uh, great tool, very nice tool, mini, so uh, doesn't take up very much space at all. It's actually kind of hidden away in there. So, um, nice arm strap. This is cool. I found this like a week ago. I've owned this bag for a year, but there's a nice pocket here. So when I'm using my tools... And I have the bag on my back. I have a place to store them. And uh, that's pretty sweet. Nice fast X buckles. And molly webbing all over this bag. So uh, let me know what you guys think. This is my total EDC as of right now. Um, hasn't changed much over the course of about 3-4 months. Other than these Oakley gas cans. Which I am absolutely loving. Um... But other than that, guys, that's the EDC for right now. So uh, please comment, uh, subscribe. This is just another year option for you guys, and we will be uh, back on soon. Thanks for watching.